Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I have an amazing video for you guys today. We are going to go over the best cities in the US with the highest quality of life. Now, this is going to be a really fun video because let me tell you guys, we live in the United States, right? And the United States, it's so big. If you ever meet people that come from like Europe, like you just meet them, you know, I have a lot of family from Europe and when they come visit the United States, they always tell me the same thing. They can't, uh, they can't comprehend just how big the United States is. And the beauty is that there's just so much we have here and so much opportunity. If you think about like the fact that we have an East Coast and a West Coast, right? That's amazing. I mean, there's not many countries that have that. I mean, you have Canada, Mexico, but for the most part, even down in, in, in Central America, there's a few countries. But once you get into South America, where you have bigger uh, countries, bigger economies, you don't have that, right? It is hard to travel from, you know, Brazil to Peru or Chile or, or you know, back to Argentina. These are all separate countries, but in the United States, it's all one. And what that does is really give us the flexibility to really be who we, we want to be and raise, uh, you know, our families or just live in a place that we feel comfortable. I you know, I grew up in uh, in one in one part of the United States that wasn't really for me, to be honest. And I don't really want to say what it is because I don't want to pe I don't want people to get mad, you know, because people are very loyal to their cities. But I had to try something else, right? And luckily, the type of work that I was doing at the time, or I still do, was in demand to the place that I wanted to go. So I just packed up and I drove across the country, literally from one coast to the next. And, uh, you know, it's been great, right? And now as I'm getting older, I am seeing a situation where I do wanna go maybe somewhere else, right? Uh, you know, why not? I mean, look at this, like, think about it like this. We have islands, right? You can be in the Caribbean island, Puerto Rico. You know, Americans could live in Puerto Rico, even though it's just a territory, it's not a state, but it's practically like the United States. Or if you don't want to be in the Caribbean because of hurricanes or whatever, you could be in um, in Hawaii, right? In the middle of the Pacific. It's amazing. I mean, America just has so many options. Now, we always hear the best quality of life city is always somewhere in Europe, you know, in the Norwegian areas up there in Scandinavia. Well, I, wanna, I wanted to find out where is the best quality of life here in America. And I found this article, and this is gonna be really fun because we're gonna jump into Zillow and check out some properties there. But basically, coming in, I guess number one, uh, the first one they list is San Diego, California. I have been to San Diego many, many times. I will tell you, it is very, very expensive, but it is really cool because the different parts of San Diego all have their like little mini downtowns like with shopping areas and it's very walkable it's a really cool cool city but the only drawback is that it is massively expensive they even say that right here so the high cost of living in san diego is a tough sell for anyone not earning at least six figures per year yeah i mean like you're not going to enjoy it if you're making fifty thousand dollars a year living in san diego but here's another option Tijuana is right there. A lot of people that I, I've met, many people that live in Tijuana and, uh, you know, work in San Diego. Now, obviously, uh, it's, you know, you got a border in, in between. So just think about the commute. If you have to go to an office, at, you know, Monday through Friday, 9 to 5 or 8.30 to 5 or whatever, it is, it gets a little complicated having to cross that border, right? Um, there are there are ways to uh, to facilitate that you could get special passes, but there you go, right? San Diego. Now another one is Hartford, Connecticut. This to me a little bit too cold. Um, yeah, you know I've done the Northeast before, and uh, it is it is not easy. Again, Portland, Maine. I've actually checked out Portland, Maine. Portland, Maine is a very very small little city. I've never been. I I. You know, I want to drive around these areas. I want to vacation to these areas. I don't know if I would want to live. Uh, Reno, Nevada, that's pretty cool. It's uh, right next to Lake Tahoe. So if you like the mountains, if you like being outdoors and you get the whole, you know, fun party scene of Reno, this could be, a, this could be okay. Not really for me. 
Um, it's, it is also cold there. You got Fort Collins, Colorado. Don't know about this city if you guys um, I'll, I'll research this in another video, but yeah, let me know. Here's by the Rocky Mountain National Park. That's pretty cool. So it looks like a very outdoorsy city. This is one I'm going to check out soon. Boston, Massachusetts, another very incredibly expensive city. This city is pretty awesome. Why? Because you're going to have um, access to great, great jobs. Uh, there's big, big companies here. This, you know, this city really moves. But, you know, the weather is an issue and uh, and it's it's expensive, man. And Madison, Wisconsin, uh, heard great thing, things about this uh, city. Uh, a lot of people from Chicago love coming out here for the weekend. Uh, just really laid back, pretty great people, great vibe. Trenton, New Jersey. I've been to Trenton, but I was very little. Um, I guess this is good quality of life. Uh, Naples, Florida. We've checked out Florida a bunch of times on this channel. Uh, and San Jose, California. San Jose, California is incredibly expensive. Uh, pretty much the most ex uh, expensive uh, area in the whole United States. Look, the average house is almost $1.5 million. Prices are coming down in San Jose, but again, you need to be uber, uber wealthy. You need to have a great, great job. Problem is, you know, with Silicon Valley being right there and San Francisco, just it just becomes really, really unaffordable. And then we got Boulder, Colorado. This is one that I am going to check out. So I want to check out two cities. I want to check out the first one, which is San Diego, and then the last one, which is Colder, uh, Boulder, Colorado. I have some family that lives in Boulder, and I am yet to go, but I hear amazing things coming out of this awesome city. So uh, how they rank the best cities in the United States is here is how they do it right? This is the U.S. News, how we rank best places to live and retire. And they basically add, you know, 20% is the job market, right? Unemployment rate uh, is 40% and average salary is 60% from this, you know, total uh, job market index. So basically these indexes is, you know, 20%, 25%, uh, 32%. Uh, basically this all adds up to 100%. And within each segment right here index, you have, you know, 40% uh, of this 20% would be unemployment rate and average uh, the 60% average salary um, makes up the 20% the here. So basically, job market 20%, they calculate um, unemployment rate plus the average annual salary. So that's a big deal. You have to be able to work, right? Um, but I'm, I'm surprised that it's only 20% though, you know, that's the one thing because like in San Diego or San Jose, you're going to need, you know, the job market is, it has to be a lot more than that because it's so expensive to live there. Now, the value index, which is blended median annual household income, blended annual cost of living. So I guess these two kind of work together, jobs and value index. If you're living in San Jose, you need, you know, higher paying jobs, which there are. Uh, but, you know, the homes there are so expensive, it makes it really hard. Uh, then you have quality of life index, which is uh, calculated by crime rate. Uh, crime rate, 25%. Quality and availability of, uh, of health care. Quality of education. Well-being. Uh, commuter index. Air quality index. So these are very, like crime rates, 25%. I think that's very important. Quality and availability of healthcare, 10%. I, again, it's for the older people. Uh, obviously, that's a big deal. Quality of education, 20%. I, I think this is a big deal because uh, this goes to, you know, better schools, better communities, right? Um, better um, better housing prices. Well-being, 20%. This is a big deal. So you're talking about... Um, which uh, this analyzes resident satisfaction in the following areas, purpose, social, uh, financial, community, and physical. So yeah, well-being, hopefully if you live in a cooler city where there's a lot of things to do, there's big community that will contribute to well-being. Uh, commuter index, you know, how easy is it to get around? Uh, and quality of air, you know, if you're coughing all day long, that is not high quality uh, of living. And then the desirability index, basically, you know, are people wanting to live there? Are people flying in or flying out, right? Moving in or moving at, in um, out. And then net migration, uh, just a little bit, you know, um, you know, is this a sustainable city? So that's basically how they rank it. Now, let's jump into San Diego. Now, San Diego is insane. Look how big it is. 
it is you know anything on this like la jolla obviously is going to be anything by the water is mega expensive downtown is right here very expensive if you want affordable housing you kind of have to go out but there's really cool little towns all around here so it's not just like like for example look at this uh well as uh Look, you can get a condo for 348000 which is actually reasonably priced. Uh, one bedroom, one bathroom, 663000 Actually, it is very expensive, right? Uh, for 600, 000, uh, 600 square feet for three, uh, 350 it's kind of a lot. Plus, you have a $276 uh, dollar HOA. You got basically uh, bars. Uh, but inside, once you go in, you can see it is really, really nice. They got new floors. Uh, this is a cool little living room. I actually kind of like it. It's tiny, don't get me wrong. But, you know, if you got a good job and you want to, you know, put, buy something, this could be a good rental too, depending on the location. Uh, 350 man, you can live in San Diego. Now, obviously, it only goes up from there. Uh, well, look, this is a 325, 600, um, 2700 square foot. Uh, right next to some shopping, which is kind of desirable. You got to just come out here, check out the neighborhoods. But look how awesome this city is. This city really is awesome. And, you know, again, you're only really, you're always really close to downtown. Um, so you're, at the same time, you are going to have your one point, uh, this is not a house, sorry about that. Look at this. You're going to have your, you know, houses worth 1.3 million bucks almost 2,800 square foot, six bedroom, four bath. Actually, this is a big house. And it seems like, uh, you know, for San Diego, uh, seems, a, you know, reasonably priced. Look what you're getting. This is actually kind of nice. 1.3, I know it's, and I, I know it sounds like a lot, but look at this big ass piece of property that you get. Uh, pretty tight. Look at the, how cool those neighborhoods are. Again, you're really close to a lot of things. I really, really like San Diego a lot. Um, it's a lot of fun. Once you move closer to the beach, you know, the prices pretty much balloon. Uh, look at this. Two million for a two bedroom, one bathroom, uh, 1,000 square foot. Why would someone want to live here? Why? Because you're walking distance to the beach and that is worth a lot here. Look, look at that. You can walk down to the cliffs. I mean, this is awesome, right? This is millionaire living. How much is it again? Uh, Two million bucks, man. Two million bucks. Very, very expensive. And uh, look, one million bucks gets you 750 square foot, basically a shoebox. But what's the draw is that you're right on the beach. Now, remember, these areas uh, have a lot of restaurants. I know you don't see any restaurants around here, but... You know, they're either a, a short walk or a quick bike ride. And you're, you know, in the middle of just a really cool town. That's what I, one of the things that I love about San Diego. You know, it's, it's, you just get out there and walk and you're outside. And basically the whole city is cool. You could be inland. You could be a little bit, you know, closer to the beach. And it's still awesome. Look, let's just, uh, let's just pretend right here what two, look, this one. This is a condo. 1300 square foot for 2.2 million bucks but again this is you wake up to this right um what is that worth to someone well 2.2 million bucks the hoa is probably through the roof too it doesn't say here but yeah it's a tiny ass place for 2 million bucks over 2 million bucks but you walk out and if you're a surfer it's insane look you get to surf every single day which is awesome and you get to you basically have like your own private beach so there you go two million bucks um so this is like if you're like super duper rich though you know like if you have your own business you're making a ton of money uh because i mean that's just an apartment and that's very expensive but once you go out i mean there's just a lot of options you know here you have something for five hundred thousand, you know but then across the ways is one point uh two million so a lot of options in San Diego. I definitely encourage you guys to come visit the city because I think you guys will love it. Now, let's jump over to Boulder real quick. One of the things that I like about Boulder is that there's a lot of uh, skiing and, you know, I'm sort of getting into that right now. So I've been wanting to check this out and it is just scanning it. Look at this. One million. Everything's oh, wow. This is expensive. 
Uh, I did it. I had no idea it was going to be this expensive. But look at this. Six million bucks for. Okay. Well, that's a huge ass house. So I get it. But man, that just seems crazy. Um, okay. So these are obviously. You could tell they're like multi-million dollar homes just by the way they look. Okay. But what happens when we go more into the town? Uh, let's say. Jesus, it's like all expensive. Let's see what here, you know, down the street gets you 3,000 square foot. This house, uh, like 3,300 square foot, but wow, insane, $2.7 million. I mean, this is like San Diego prices. Jeez, okay, so yeah, inside is completely insanely nice, right? Like everything about this house is so awesome. Uh, but this is, I just can't believe how expensive Boulder is. Wow. I am literally blown away. I've never gone and checked. This is why I do these videos because I love learning. There is nothing under a million bucks. Okay, let's see what 290 gets you. 290 two, uh, gets you 600 square foot uh, with a $400 uh, dollar HOA, basically uh, 290,000 and you get one bedroom, one bath, tiny ass place, tiny, you know, it's got a pool, Big whoop, man, $300,000. Wow, I am just, I had no idea. I had no idea. Uh, it's like everything is a million bucks. Let's see what, uh, let's see what one million, straight one million gets you. Look at this tiny ass place, a uh, thousand square foot, two bedroom, two bath, one million dollars. Are you guys seeing this? Okay, once you go in, no doubt, it is pretty nice. Uh, completely redone, moving ready, the whole shebang. But uh, I don't like, what is this? This is like an outdoor area. You know, I don't like this. I don't like, uh, maybe it's for the back. Maybe I like, I would have to see it. Uh, I would definitely have to see that. Okay, so this looks like the backyard opens up like this. Okay, it, regardless, a million bucks for a thousand square foot. Wow, I am just completely blown away by these prices. There's nothing cheap here. You get like a condo, uh, a 500 square foot, 600 square foot condo for three, uh, 314. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and finish this video. That was a big eye opener for me. Um, that is just crazy, crazy expensive. There's a lot of huge, awesome ski towns in this area. Uh, look. And uh, maybe that's why it's that expensive because people just, you know, come up here and ski all, all day and come back to their house in Boulder. Wow. Just completely blown away. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and finish this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, if you guys like these videos, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button and go ahead and like and leave a comment. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next video.